alaikum wa rahmatullahi, my friends, and welcome to yet another amazing episode of Maggie Diaries. As always, I'll be here to take the burden of what to cook off your list of worries during the month of Ramadan. Today, I'll be taking you through the process of customizing one of the most popular street food, abacha, as we will be making abacha wrap with spicy grilled mackerel. Cassava is a staple in our country and people use it in different ways. Things like fufu, gari, and what we are going to be preparing today, abacha wrap. Abacha is a meal very common to the Eastern people of Nigeria. It's quick and also very nutritious. And I'm eager to start making it. But before I start, I have a guest joining me in my kitchen today. Come on in, Miriam. <laughs> Salam alaikum, sis. Wa alaikum, salam. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you I was just having. telling the viewers at home what we'll be making today. Okay. We're going to be making a batch wrap, and I know you can't wait to help me out. I can't. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on a quick break, and when we come back, I'm going to introduce you to the rest of the ingredients. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. To make a batch wrap, you'll be needing uba, utazi, scotch bonnet, ehuru, ground crayfish, onions, ground pepper, a batcha, garden egg, baking soda, onions, palm oil, mackerel, tortilla wrap, and maggi crayfish with maggi star cubes. The very first thing you're going to do is just soak the abacha, you know, because okay. it's still hard and we need it to soften. We're going to soak it in cold water. While we are doing that, I'm going to marinate our fish with two maggi star cubes. How are you? How has Ramadan been going with you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. May Allah this... accept our act of ibadah. I mean, no. <laughs> so I'm going to also add my ground pepper. Okay. You know, to marinate it. We are going to be yes. marinating it in the oven. I've already cleaned out the fish, yes. so I just want to rub in the maggi inside the fish and outside so that it will still be tasty and everything. Yes. What has been your favorite part of Ramadan so far? I don't know if you noticed, but during Ramadan, people don't starve. <laughs> Everybody oh, eats during Ramadan. Exactly. You can not have money and you eat. Yeah, yeah. You go to the mocks, you see food. Yes, Even definitely. if you don't go to the mocks. It's a time where we are encouraged to share and yes. people are, you know, trying to get all the rewards and everything. Exactly. So now that I've rubbed up our fish and I've marinated it, I'm just going to pop it straight into the oven. Okay. We don't need to drizzle it with oil because, you know, fish are As fatty oil, animals. Yes. Exactly. So we're just going to do that. I'm going to pop that in the oven and then we can continue with the rest of our meal. All right. We are not making this on the fire, so I'm just going to make it on the tabletop first. I'm going to add about three spoons of palm oil. This takes a lot of palm oil, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> and then I'm going to add baking soda. Traditionally, some people use potash, but baking soda is a healthier alternative. Okay. I'm just going to add one tablespoon of baking soda, and then we'll just mix it up together. You need to also tell me what your favorite act of ibadah is during Ramadan. 100% of the time, if you pray tarawi, yeah, your prayers get answered. Oh, yes. is that true? It's not easy to pray tarawi. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. I want to change to a better patilla because, you know, the more you stir yeah. the palm oil and baking soda, it thickens up a little bit. Yes. I think we are doing chemistry here, too. <laughs> Right. Maybe it's oxidizing. Yeah, sure. yeah. So next, I'm going to add a huru to it. And then ground crayfish. Mm -hmm. Let me just add everything. <laughs> and the scotch bonnet. And then some onions, like some chopped onions. It's just so, you know, give 
a really nice taste to the sauce. And then I'm going to mix it all up together. Is this the sauce that you use your, for your own abacha when you make it? And have you had abacha with baking soda before? Yeah. Never made it myself. The only thing I see, yeah. because the sauce has already been mixed, got the egg, onions, and uba. Oh, that's what you see with that they're mixing see, to it. Yes. So I'm going to use half a tablet of Maggie crayfish okay. and sprinkle it in and then mix it all up together because we want the maggi crayfish to also elevate the taste of the sauce. Yes. So now that that's set, our abacha is already, you know, soaked. Yes. So I'm just going to add it to the sauce. Let me stir till I see the consistency that I like. Then I'm going to add some uba into it. It's already been washed and yeah. it's clean, so I'm just going to add this straight into it. Help me with some utasi leaves, please. Thank you. Thank you. It's basically ready now, but what yeah. I like to do is to steam it a little bit, just for a few seconds, okay. just to steam it. We are not cooking it, but we are just putting it on the fire for five to 10 seconds. I'm going to cover it up just for a very short time, and then I'm going to turn off the heat and we are going to get on with our wrap. Now it's time to check on the fish. Yes. Let's see if it's done. Okay. We are almost there, and we are just going to go on a quick break now, and when we come back, we are going to continue with the rest of the process. <laughs> Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. Our fish is actually almost done, so that's going to go with our wrap. I'm about to assemble the wrap. Okay, oh, you already know what to do. <laughs> She's going to help me slice the garden eggs that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use the inner part of the wrap face up, then I'm going to add in the components of my wrap. Welcome back to Maggie Diary. So I'm going to start assembling the wrap right now. We're going to be having different components in the wrap. There's the abacha component, onions, and already sliced garden egg. Do you make wraps a lot? No. Oh, you don't? I don't. I'm giving you like free tutorial here <laughs> to do. So I'm just going to put it gently right in the middle. You know, this is how you make a, a, well, <laughs> yeah. Can you make shawarma with some of the components you see like on the table here? No. Oh, you can't? No. You can just add a batch to your shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to add some onions. Okay. I mean, this is my own personal preference. Not too much, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you want more, you, you can. Yeah. You can. <laughs> Then I'm going to add about two um, slices of garden egg. Aren't you excited? I'm looking forward I to am, it. Actually. So I'm just going to fold it here and like mm -hmm. this, and then fold it this way. We're still going to be pan searing it because we want to brown it. Let's just clear up this place okay. because we would like to brown it on the fire. It's easy, really. You can just place the wraps on the frying pan and then wait for it to brown, then just turn it over. Okay. I'm going to see how much is going to fit on the pan. Um, I think it's safe to just leave two there. Yeah. We're not going to press it or anything. People make wraps in different ways. You might make it like in a panini way and put it in a panini press yes. or just this normal classic shawarma fold. That's also fine too. We are going to continue browning it, and let me see if it's, oh well, it is going to take a while. If your friends or family love abacha, this is one of the fastest meals they can make. Okay. You have your abacha ready, you customize it with your favorite veggies, you wrap it up, and you are done. It's like really fast, easy, oh wow, look at that. I know, right? It also keeps it together and everything. Yeah. So like I was saying, very tasty, very nutritious, easy to very make, fast. and affordable too. Yeah. Okay, now that the sides have browned, I'm yeah. just going to take it off the fire so that we can put the next batch in it. But right now, we are ready with our meal. We are going to go on a break. And when we come back, Iftar is going to be ready and served. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya and other carefully selected ingredients 
to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. If you are not watching this show, you are missing a lot because look at the deliciousness we just cooked up. Aren't you excited to dig in? Especially since you eat abacha alone before yes. and now you get to experience it in this beautiful wrap form. Before we move on to our meal, let's break our fast. Bismillah. Behold our abacha wrap with spicy grilled mackerel. Look at how colorful and wonderful it is, ready to be eaten. Iftar will be wonderful with this meal, so rich and delicious. This meal is a nutritional powerhouse, making it an ideal choice for iftar. As you recreate this delightful dish for your family and friends, make sure you mention how nutritious it is. Please make sure to share pictures and videos on social media and tag us when you make this meal for you and your family. For those of you who are not following us on our social media platform, make sure you give us a follow. And those of you who have, make sure you like, comment and share. And with that, we have come to the end of this episode of Maggie Diaries. Till I see you again on the next episode, it's goodbye for now. Masalam. <laughs>